If you simply don't want to be a stressed out trader, right? You should learn to adapt to any market condition. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be trading US stocks, you already know that you should stay up to date with what's happening in the US, right? That is the fundamental analysis minus, of course, the technical analysis that we're always doing over here. You should stay up to date with the fundamentals. So on Friday, you obviously know that we had the presidential debate, them going back and forth. And obviously that influenced, you know, the market. We saw all the charts moving up and down. You know, it was crazy, right? We closed off the week with a banger trade on NASDAQ. Of course, I would have wanted it to come and break the highs over here. But like I was saying that you should adapt to market conditions, not what you want the market to do, but what it's actually doing, right? You can see that we had such a big rejection right over here. But obviously on a one hour time frame, I'm on a one hour time frame. I wouldn't have seen such a rejection like this and exited my positions early if I was still on the one hour time frame. That's why I'm always saying that we go on to lower time frames so that we can see what the market is doing at that current price, right? So obviously I was working with the 15 minute and the five minute. On the five minute I had, yes, it was a bearish engulfing candle that we had right over there at this particular zone. You can see that the market got to the zone and then we saw this candle right here. That was my signal. I knew that the sellers were stepping into this market and then the fact that we were actually having news and all of that, I stepped right out of these positions and closed all my trades, right? So this is a practical example of adapting to what the market is doing, not what I wanted to do. Obviously, I wanted it to break the highs, but it did not do that. And nevertheless, we still had an absolutely beautiful trade over here. You can see that we capitalized on this little break out of this, you know, liquidity zone that we had and you guys were up to date with me in the free signal groups and obviously you know in the inner circle we had this trade from around uh, 19680 right it was 19680 not 682 somewhere around about this zone with our stop loss right over here 80 pips stop loss yeah but then look at the movement that we had and then we had to add positions at this zone right so it's not exactly exiting the trade you know you can just come to this zone and then close one or two trades and then when it breaks out you add more positions you know it moves up you, you take more profit it comes back for a retest you add more positions when it's confirmed we pushed up to the top with it and that was the final straw we closed off all our trades right it was an absolutely beautiful trade as you can see the nasdaq has just pushed right back down to the bottom it even broke a trend line went to do a little retest right over here and the retest is actually a really crazy one because we have a little you know rg candlestick right at the break of the trend line how crazy is that right so the market was just moving so crazy on friday and we are ready to capitalize on such beautiful opportunities that are coming up for this new current month you already know that we're going to have cpi we're going to have nft we're going to have really crazy news events for the month in this video as usual i'm going to explain and break down the nasdaq chart for this week in as simple terms as i can right to make it really easy for you guys to then you know navigate the market and absolutely obliterate this market right but before we do all of that good stuff if you're new to the channel welcome we trade nasdaq over here if you're returning welcome back you already know what's up don't forget to hit the like button turn your post notifications and subscribe to the channel because when we hit 10,000 subscribers i'm going to be doing a little giveaway finding 10 different accounts and giving 10 different subscribers free mentorship right just a little fun fact i don't know how many of you have actually noticed that but we have the nasdaq and the dow jones almost moving exactly alike so i managed to capitalize on these two charts and i want to show you how so that you can also do the same thing right so over here on my chart you can see that we're having this little liquidity zone and remember that i was just basing this analysis from the nasdaq one look on nasdaq we also had this little zone right over here and nasdaq had broken out of it and us 30 had not yet right so remember they almost move alike so i drew the trend line over here like this and then i was waiting for the market to break out of that trend line because nasdaq had already broken out and these are us stocks man i have noticed that they just almost move alike and obviously here this was my stop loss zone that i was using so I wanted to break out of that zone and move to the top as Nasdaq had done because during news events, these charts, they almost move alike. And guess what happened? Right? So I'm always recording these so that I can then put them together and have real time, you know, trades that I took instead of playing them in playback, right? So obviously you can see the trade absolutely played out while we had the Nasdaq, you know, we had the Dow Jones just, you know, spiking right up to the top following what Nasdaq had done. You can see that it retested the trend line just a little bit, you know, went back to, to sort of on our lower trend line 
line that was our little you know um support zone see that we were currently in this nasdaq trade right over here it hadn't even played out and i was just you know recording for you guys so that you can just see how simple it actually is so without dwelling too much on that you might just want to check out what the dow jones is doing also check out what nasdaq is doing when you don't have a setup on one you can probably find a setup on the other basing on what the other one has done and then looking forward to what the other one might do it it might be vice versa right the nasdaq can start and then the us 30 will follow or the dow jones will start and then the nasdaq will follow right but you have to know that there is no weekly analysis without going on to our calendar to see what kind of news events we have for this week so let's just go right on to our investing.com to see what news we have for this current week right oof just by looking at this calendar you can already see that we are about to have a really crazy week man so over here you can see that on monday yes these type of news we really don't care about them but they're you know three head news so they will be having you know pushing the market having a lot of volatility right and then on tuesday we have mr powell speaking man and it's going to be at the open of the new york session make that make sense but we're gonna see a lot of volatility on tuesday that's what it means and then on wednesday we have a holiday yes we have a holiday and then we'll still have news right after that and we have fomc at nine o'clock this is going to be a crazy day and then on thursday we are not trading because it's a holiday the whole day is a holiday and then friday we have nfp over here it's just going to be a crazy week right you can see that it's like news back to back news back to back oh and the sick phrase for this video will be like nfp is about to be lit this week right so comment down below nfp is gonna be lit 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 let's go right so let's go on to our nasdaq chart right over here and start by you know deleting all of these things that we do not need um we want to have a fresh analysis so obviously you can already see that the sellers did step into this market right and then we're having this high over here that they wanted to go and attempt to break but they failed right so we're going to mark that up it's going to be a point of interest that we want to be looking at right and then obviously we want to mark up this zone that it had we will have a little trend line over here let me see if we can you know take out a little trend line we don't want to do a little we don't want to do a whole lot right because oh you can see that a normal person would have drawn you know any other person would have drawn their trend line like this right but i already told you guys that you don't do that you draw it from this zone and then go to the right to the next one right next one that's next to it right so it's going to be like this something like this right and then this would be your guide in trend line so what am i saying is the market might go back to retest this trend line if you want to draw it like this right you better just not use this swing point right at this zone right you just use this one that's currently at this particular zone right but i don't want to draw it like that so i'm going to live out the trend line for now let me see on the daily time frame what we might be having oh yeah so we might want to mark up this zone again from last week uh you remember we had two zones right from last week we were around about this zone and then we had this zone that i said that the market would come and retest if it breaks it will come to the zone so we would it's right exactly at the same spot that we was on the last week right so we would probably think that it would come again here but if it does it's going to be like a lot of you know uh liquidity right at that zone it might want to push to that zone so on the daily time frame that's when we can literally have a, a, a good trend line because it won't be cutting through anything and then it now just looks like this right so let's go back to our four hour time frame and what are we saying oh we already have a lot of lines and you know i don't like working with a lot of lines on my chart like this so due to the amount of volatility because of news events that we're going to see in this current week right a lot of zones are going to get disrespected for this current week right so most of the zones will not hold because of the news it's just going to be a lot volatile right so i would suggest that if you're targeting a zone right if it gets broken wait for it to close outside or close inside because most times the market can come and break out of this zone and then you think that it's a breakout and then it wicks right back inside and closes to the zone or it might break out of the zone and then wicks right back in and closes inside that would not be a valid break right so what we're saying is just because of that you know amount of volatility right we, we were not considering the small zones right over here so this zone we might not consider we want to consider the market coming to this particular zone right so we're saying that if it does come to this zone and breaks out of this current zone we know that the sellers are still having power they are still strong in this market and they want to push it right back to the zone and then you obviously know that over here we're going to look for the break or the rejection of the trend line like we always do right and then same thing with the buying positions i don't want to look for the buys 
right here because it will be a short buy so we would go for the break off this zone right instead of this one we'll go for a break off this current zone and then if it closes outside of it just as usual we go in for our buying position i'm not going to draw any trends within the trends because of the volatility that we're going to see in the market for this week so most times those trend lines are not going to be respected that is why we're just going to use the lines and oh, just make sure you're also trading when we have the volatility right because it's going to be during the sessions and then during the news because you already know that when the market is volatile that's when we see more opportunities to capitalize in the market right so nothing too crazy nothing too complicated if you did enjoy that video don't forget to hit the like button turn your post notifications and subscribe to the channel you feel me with that it's been tino and i'm out peace